five six for wind fair, and we will abort. <laughs> My Lord of Cambridge and my kind Lord of Massam, and you, my gentle knight, give me your thoughts. Think you not that the powers we bear with us will cut their passage through the force of France? No doubt, my liege, if each man do his best. I doubt not that. Never was monarch better feared and loved than is your majesty. True. We therefore have great cause of thankfulness. Uncle of Exeter, enlarge the man committed yesterday that railed against our person. We consider it was excess of wine that set him on <laughs> and on his more advice we pardon him that's mercy but too much security let him be punished sovereign lest example breed by his sufferance more of such a kind oh. let us yet be merciful so may your highness and yet punish too sir you show great mercy if you give him life after the taste of much correction alas your too much love and care of me are heavy orisons against this poor wretch. If little faults proceeding on distemper shall not be winked at, how shall we stretch our eye when capital crimes, chewed, swallowed, and digested, appear before us? We'll yet enlarge that man, though Cambridge, Stroop, and Gray, in their dear care and tender preservation of our person would have him punished. And now to our French causes. Who are the late commissioners? I won, my lord. Your highness bade me ask for it today. So did you mean, my liege? And I'm our royal sovereign. Then Richard, Earl of Cambridge, there is yours. There yours, Lord Scroop of Massam and Sir Knight Grey of Northumberland, this same is yours. Read them and know. I know your worthiness. My Lord of Westmoreland, Uncle Exeter, we will aboard tonight. Why, how now, gentlemen? What see you in those papers that you lose so much complexion? I do confess my fault, and do submit me to your highness' mercy. To which we all appeal. The mercy that was quick in us of late by your own counsel is suppressed and killed. You must not dare for shame to talk of mercy. For your own reasons turn into your bosoms as dogs upon their masters worrying you.